Hello everyone, uh, this is Miss Linda. Uh, today, inshallah, we're going to solve question number four from uh, May 2021 physics paper two high level document. Question number four says you have we have during electron capture an atomic electron is captured by a proton. So when we have electron capture, that means proton will be turning into a neutron. Write the equation to represent the decay. We have a thallium 205. Here we have lead. So let's write it down. Let's write this down. And we'll be turning to thallium 81 and here 205. Since the atomic number 205 so for lead, I should have the same atomic number, 205, because the equation should be balanced right and left. For the electron, I have negative one. And here there is no mass number. Here I have 81. So 82, if I put here 82, 82 minus one, I should get 81. So now my equation is balanced. Plus neutrino, neutrino electron, it doesn't have charge and mass number also is zero. So this is the equation. Double I. Double I, I'm going to solve it here. The unstable lead nuclei, uh, nuclide has a half life, half life, so T half. Is 15 times 10 to the power six years. A sample initially contains two micromole of the lead. So the number of moles I have two micro, it means times 10 to the power negative six mole. Okay, calculate the number of thallium nuclei being formed, so I need a number being formed, each second, each second, 30 times 10 to the power six years later. So time, T is 30 times 10 to the power six. So I'll start off with writing the equation. I have decay constant lambda will equal len 2 divided by half life, t half. So len 2 divided by half life, I have 15 times 10 to the power 6. And this will give us. 4.6 times 10 to the power negative 8 per year. This is the decay constant. Now we study in topic 3, number of moles will equal mass divided by molar mass. And this also equal number of atoms divided by Avogadro's number. So if I need the number of atoms n from this equation, I can do cross multiplication. So n will equal the number of moles times Avogadro's number in A. And this will give us number of moles, I have two, here times 10 to the power negative 6 times Avogadro's number, which is 6 times 10 to the power 23. And this will give us 1.2 times 10 to the power 18. Okay.
just Okay, I'm going to adjust this one a bit here. Okay. Now let's go back. So I have N, N, we just calculated, which equals to 1.2 times 10 to the power 18. Now, number of atoms will equal the original number times exponential minus lambda decay constant times time. So, the original number we just calculated, which was 1.2 times 10 to the power 18, exponential number minus decay constant, it's 4.62 times 10 to the power negative 18 times the time time the progression is 30 times 10 to the power 6 okay and if we calculate this it will give us 3 times 10 to the power 17. Our activity A will equal lambda times M. So if I multiply 4.6 times 10 to the power negative 8, Negative eight times three times ten to the power seventeen. Let's check this value. Okay. Ten to the power negative eight times three times ten to the power seventeen. You should get one point four times 10 to the power 10 nuclei by per year, per year, per year. Now in the question, you want to know the number of thallium nuclei being formed each second, each second. So I'm going to divide this number. So here, number, of thallium nuclide nuclide per second. So it will be 1.4 times 10 to the power 10 divided by year. I have 365 days. In one day, I have a 24 hour. One hour, it has 60. 60 minutes, so times 60, and one minute has 60 seconds, 60 times 60, 3,600 seconds. And this will give us 438. So when we round it, it's around 440 nuclei per second. Nuclei per second, per second. OK, this was the solution for. Double I. B, you have the neutron number N and the proton number Z not equal for the nuclide thallium 205. Explain with reference to the forces acting within the nucleus, the reason for for this. Now we have. There are 
two forces. We have the electrostatic repulsive, uh, repulsive force, which is pushing everything outwards, and we have strong nuclear force, which is pulling everything inwards. So it needs to be more powerful, this force, compared to the electrostatic repulsive force for the nucleus to be stable. Nucleus is stable in this case because I have a neutrons are providing more attraction force without providing any extra electrostatic attraction repulsive force. So if we add more protons, there will be more positive charging charges repelling each other. And that would make the electrostatic repulsive uh, forces stronger. That's not going to make the nucleus more stable. Whereas if we add neutrons, that will make nucleus more stable because it will increase the strong force. OK. Let's go to C now. Now before before we solve uh, part C, I would like just to remind you of the table we've studied during the class. We have three types of radiation. I have alpha particle. It has positive charge alpha particle, which is the helium. Helium four. Alpha particle. Helium four it has two protons. OK. So in the alpha particle uh, reaction, atomic number, I will, it will be decreased by four. The mass number will be decreased by four. Number of protons will be decreased by two. Number of neutrons will be decreased also by two. For beta particle, I have two types. I have beta negative decay and I have beta positive decay. For beta positive, Atomic numbers stay the same. I have the number of protons will increase one, while the number of neutrons will be decreased by one. For beta positive is the opposite. Atomic number doesn't change. I have a number of protons will be decreased by one, beta positive, and number of neutrons will be increased by one. So whenever you have alpha particle, we will lose always two protons. So two protons we're going to lose and we're going to lose always two neutrons. Whereas for beta negative, because the question focus on beta negative, we'll focus on beta negative. So if we have a beta negative, in beta negative, we will lose one neutron and gain, we will gain one proton. We will gain one proton. So let's go and solve the question here. Thallium 205 can also form from successive alpha and beta minus. Remember, alpha, we will gain two neutrons and we will gain two protons. Remember that. While beta negative, beta negative, we will lose neutron and will gain proton. OK, so I have my point here. The number of neutrons. On the vertical axis, while the number of proton on the horizontal axis, you see the difference here between each one of them. I have two neutrons and the difference between on the horizontal axis is one, one proton. So we have two here and here I have one. So first I have alpha and then alpha and then I have beta minus and then beta minus and then alpha. So we're going to use two protons and two neutrons. So two neutrons and two protons. This is the first things. Alpha, two protons and two neutrons. So we're going down going down here. OK, this is two protons. And. You see here and then. Two. Uh, 
two neutrons and two, uh, two protons. So this is the first one, number one, alpha. And then we're going beta. You said two proton and two neutrons, so it should be should be so it should be here. This is a bit. Two protons, so I'm going down here, and two two neutrons, so we're moving down two. We're moving down two. And two also from 81 till 79. This is also two protons, so it should be basically here. Here. This is number one. This is alpha. And then we're going beta minus. Beta minus, we'll use one in neutron. So I'm moving down one neutron. And we'll add one proton. One proton. So it will be here. Here. This is beta minus. And this is number two. And then we'll move beta again. Beta again. So beta. We're losing neutrons, so I'm moving down. So it will be here while we're gaining one proton. So it will be here. This is number three. And the last one, alpha. Alpha. We're losing two neutrons while we're losing two protons. So it will be here. This is number four. OK, uh, that's it, uh, Foxy. Inshallah, in next uh, video, we're going to solve the other question in May, for May uh, 21. Good luck with your uh, IB exam.